Hey, everyone. Welcome to What's Good in Your Neighborhood. I am Andrew Shaw, and we're talking about some real good going on in your neighborhood. Brandon Eldridge, the executive director of Pikes Peak SBDC, is here. Hey, Brandon, it's great to see you. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. And and what we're talking about, a couple great things. Number one, a big event coming up November 1st, and it's important to get tickets. Uh, let's talk more about that event. Yeah, so we have our 17th annual Veterans Small Business Conference coming up on November 1st. It's going to be at Great Wolf Lodge. It's an all-day event, and I'm co-hosting the event uh, from the Pikes Peak SBDC with our Colorado VBOC, that's the Veteran Business Outreach Center, and with our MBO of Colorado, that's the Minority Business Office. So the three of us are hosting this event, and our presenting sponsor this year is Huntington Bank. So you can imagine we have a really great uh, tribe pulling together to put this event on for the community. We have some really great curriculum, some amazing resource partners coming. We have 34 resource partners coming that day. Man, wow. A lot of moving parts for a small business that's you know looking to maybe get into government contracting or simply just scaling your business. That's what this event's for. What what a cool event. And, and you mentioned, you know, that the tribe and, and the whole team to put this on together, but that also kind of fits into your mission and vision of, of the entire concept to help veterans and their families start start their own business or grow and scale their business. Yeah. So the Small Business Development Center is a nationwide network. I happen to cover the Pikes Peak region. So I cover all of El Paso and Teller County, but I've got 13 other counterparts across the state. So when you look at the work that SBDC is doing, we're helping you with your business plan. We're helping you think critically about your small business. We're helping you get work on your business and maybe not in your business every single day. Um, oftentimes people know well, I know how to do the job. I know how to run the business every day, but do you know how to think visionary about it? Do you know how to think strategically mm. and maybe put together a three or a five year plan that says, where are we going to be at in five years? Mm -hmm. So that's where we come along and help you. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of great resources. I mean, man, 34 plus, plus more who will be there uh, again. Yeah. The event is coming up November 1st, coming up soon. Be sure you get your tickets and get registered. You can go to pikespeaksbdc.org to get your tickets. Uh, it runs from eight in the morning to four in the afternoon. And those will be just based on, you know, I'm looking at that sign behind you, the 16th annual from last year. And yep. anytime you can cross that out and say 17th annual, that is a, a sign of success. I think that is great. And uh, so, you know, these resources that you have available, they work and those eight hours you spend that day will be worth it for sure. Yeah. I mean, the fact that this is the 17th year we've done this really shows the commitment that the SBDC has to our veteran community and to our small businesses. Um, about 44%, give or take, of our economy is tied to the veteran or to, to defense is what I understand. And so when you have that much economy tied to a sector, it's important that we're intentional about a lot of our support. And I'm going to serve 750 small businesses this year. Man. And a third of them will check that box that says, you know, veteran owned. And I think what's really interesting is getting out of the military, becoming a civilian. That's that's a tough transition for some folks. And then just take that out of the picture and you say, I want to run a small business. <laughs> That in itself is really tough to do. So when you combine the two, you're talking about a demographic that is overcoming a lot of challenges, but they also have a lot of context and a lot of training and support that they've come from. And that's where we come alongside, you know, VBOT comes alongside and we just, we walk that journey with you. It's, it's a really beautiful thing when you see somebody take advantage of that, raise their hand and say, yeah, I don't know what a P and L and a balance sheet is. Mm -hmm. Great. Come to us. We're going to teach you how to do that stuff. I think that's incredible. And and on your website too, there are a ton of great resources there. If, if you can't make the event, but we really want to see you at the event again, it's November 1st, be sure you get your tickets. You talk about, uh, you know, that transition to, to civilian life, you know, tough, tough in a lot of ways, but also emotionally. Yeah. The, the theme for this year is really around mental health. Um, we have three speakers throughout the day that are going to talk and address that uh, particular issue. Our, our lunch keynote is Robert Patton. He owns Sheath Underwear. He's a veteran entrepreneur up in Woodland Park. Um, he's got a story coming from Afghanistan and coming back to the States and dealing with that PTSD and dealing with the challenges of running a business and the effects that have on your family. Um, it's a very powerful story, but it's also a success story because he's going to really share how he's uh, grown to where he's at. And 
really cool part. Everyone gets a free pair of underwear that comes to the event. So what, what event are you going to get a pair of underwear at, man? I mean, <laughs> yeah, this might be the only one in the whole country. That's right. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. He's speaking around the lunch hour. You said that's correct. So when you buy a ticket for the event, we're going to feed you breakfast. We're going to feed you lunch. As we mentioned, there's 34 resource partners coming. Hmm. So throughout the day, you're going to have an opportunity to connect with a lot of them. And then we have workshops, obviously. So some of them are going to be around certifications. Um, certifications can be prudent uh, when you're thinking about a veteran-owned small business or a women-owned small business. There's a lot of certifications and there's a process to that. And it can be very foreign. So my office hmm. actually helps with a lot of that uh, conversation. We've got the patent and trademark office coming. We've got how to work with the government coming. Obviously, we're going to have an access to capital uh, panel. What I love about our access to capital panel, all three of the speakers on that panel work in a bank or a lender today, and they all have served in the military. So they come oh, from awesome. context. They understand. So they're coming from a place of understanding. And that's what I love about this day is we've really been intentional about who's going to be in front of you that day. Yeah, a lot goes into it and you can tell uh, you're doing it with white gloves and making it an incredible experience. And I know it's exciting. Again, it's coming up on Friday, November 1st. So be sure you log in uh, to pikespeaksbdc.org and get your tickets. Talking about, uh, you mentioned family there, special thanks to your family. A lot of them have served. And this is probably pro probably why it's driving you to do what you do. Yeah, my father was in the army for 23 years and we're, we're from the Midwest. I'm an Indiana guy. Um, and so being in Colorado, we, we were stationed at Fort Carson in uh, 1998, and I've just been here ever since. I just, I love living in the Pikes Peak region. Mm -hmm. um, I never take for granted that mountain that I get to look at every day. But knowing my deep ties, you know, my sister served in the military, my brother-in-law's in the army, um, that connects me to this community in many ways. And anyone who's been a dependent knows that lifestyle and knows what it's like. I don't know all the MOSs and all the ranks by order, but I do know the lifestyle and what it what kind of toll it takes on on the soldier or the airman and their families. So yes, I am passionate about it because I have a lot of deep connections to it, but also because it's the right thing to do for this community. So yeah, perfect community for it. A lot of respect and a lot of honor in it. And you know when you look back at, at the past 16 years of, of this event coming up, I'm sure there's some incredible stories and there'll be more this year coming up November 1st. Yeah. So we're expecting around 250 small businesses to come through the event that day. Awesome. Um, and so you can tell there's going to be a lot of great connections built at our core. We don't do a lot of networking type stuff. We usually do like a classroom setting or a, a webinar we certainly do a lot of one-on-one -on -one consulting. That's that's what actually is at the core of our work as well is those free one-on-one -on -one consultant sessions. We'll probably do over 2000 hours of free service to the community just in my office alone this year. Um, and so when you come to a day like this, we'll actually have consultants on site that when you register in the morning and you sign in, you're gonna be able to sign up uh, for one of those sessions. And they're a little bit shorter. Normally we give you a full hour of time uh, but just little uh, uh, glimpses of what, what am I expecting when I come to the SBDC for free consulting? So we'll have an office set up that'll be private. You can sign up for those sessions throughout the day and start putting practical application to your small business that day. And and it, it's not just for those who want to start up and, and get things rolling. It's also you, you help provide resources, help people grow and scale if they're currently doing it too. So then you can share those experiences with others. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, Sometimes having a mature business is this is exactly where you need to be because you might have hit a ceiling in certain areas. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few categories in which you got to spend time as a small business. And maybe you've hit a ceiling in one of those categories. Maybe your marketing plan is just isn't working right. We have a lot of tools and data analytics that will help you mature that process. Or maybe you've been running the business for 10 or 15 years and you're now starting to look at, well, what would it be like if I did sell this business? Is it even a sellable product? Um, we actually help those legacy business owners start to do that exit planning process. Next year, we're going to have four workshops out of my office that actually addresses that exact topic. Um, going back to the working with the government, we're going to have a panel of folks that are going to talk about how to work with the government. Um, a great partner of ours um, at the federal level is the SBA. So the Small Business Administration, mm -hmm. um, they're doing great work, especially here in Colorado. And the SBA has a several opportunities throughout the day where you're going to get to interact with them. 
And if you ever thought working with the government would be a challenge or something that you just don't think you're, is for your business, I promise you, you want to be at this event because there's going to be so many great folks from the SBA supporting us that day. That's a great point because I think most people maybe have hesitation to even dive into something because of the unknown. And, and so then we start putting thoughts in our head, oh, we can't do this, we can't do that. But you have all those resources and proof that, yes, you can do stuff. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm a subscriber to the seven habits. Um, one of the seven habits is begin with the end in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that when you can sit down with folks that help you build out that vision of what am I trying to work towards here? And the resource partners are who is going to help you do that. Um, you, you can't build a plane without knowing where to screw it all together, right? So mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of that instructor's manual for running a small business. I like that. And, and probably, you know, not probably, but for sure that day, if people go to that day, November 1st, again, it's coming up soon, make sure you get just plan for that day, those eight hours, but those, it doesn't just end at four o'clock. This is, this is the beginning of something that could be very powerful for a lot of people. I love that you said that um, here at the Pikes Peak SBDC, when you graduate one of our programs, I give folks a challenge coin. And on that coin, we put a spiral. Mm -hmm. And the spiral to me represents your journey. It's not a straight line that, you know, it's not linear. And as you grow and you fail forward and you, you know, learn some lessons and you get better and better and you're growing your book of business or whatever that looks like for you, your spiral is just growing. And I, to me, it's just so symbolic of, of your journey as an entrepreneur, because it, the, the bigger your spiral is, the more influence you have. And hopefully the stronger your business is, too. Um, so, so the spiral is the, is the symbol for me. That is awesome. I might have to copy that from you. I like that. That's a great <laughs> symbol. That's a great imagery right there. And, uh, and yeah, what a great way to, to, you always have to start out somewhere. That's the hardest part in anything we do is getting started. But then once you grow that and that spiral gets bigger and, and imagine all of the, the information, the knowledge, the wisdom that can grow in that spiral for, for the future and, and, and businesses, as you mentioned earlier, running your own business, it sometimes like our weather around the Pikes Peak region, you know, it's up and down and up and down and we never know, but you kind of help out people, you know, streamline that. So you don't have the ebbs and flows as much, or, or if you do, it's natural, but you're prepared for them too. Yeah. That's why we're a year round resource partner here. Mm -hmm. You can come to us anytime to maybe have us review a contract and see if you're getting into the right uh, contract or maybe uh, you don't know the difference between hiring a contractor versus an employee. Mm -hmm. So what are the nuances of that? Let us guide you a little bit on some of those things. So the conference is certainly, you know, one day where you can come and pour into your business, but keep coming back to us, man. Well, this is a place where you're always welcome. It's always confidential. We want you to feel like you can share that stuff with us. I've got 50 consultants on our team and they have wow. varying expertise. I mean, we're talking AI, we're talking financials, we're talking human resources. So we really run the gambit of, of uh, information and how to plug into different parts of running that business. So That's so cool because teams like that, not everybody knows everything, but you have the ability for somebody to say, you know, I'm not quite sure on that. Let me grab so-and-so and we'll get you dialed in. Yeah, I certainly don't know all of that. <laughs> um, and so I do lean on some of our consultants. Yeah. They're, they're fantastic. They are compassionate. They've been there in your shoes before. They have consulted literally hundreds of small businesses uh, over the years. We are really particular about who we curate into those into those uh, advisor roles. And so we go through a vetting process and we make sure that they're uh, trustworthy and ethical and all the things that they do. So when you're meeting with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, and as I mentioned, we're, we're going to have 2,000 hours of free consulting services to the community. Man. And that's all those consultants that are doing all that great work. That's impressive. And that that right there is what's good in, in your neighborhood. I like that. So November 1st is the Veteran Small Business Conference. It runs from 8 in the morning to 4 at Great Wolf Lodge. PikesPeakSBDC.org to get your tickets. Super important to get started. Just, just jump in, experience that day. And uh, I imagine too, Brandon, that this day for many, and, and maybe you can speak on it in the past, but there'll be a lot of those light bulb moments, those aha moments for people who maybe go in with not a lot of expectations, but then come out of it just fired up. I would recommend bringing a notepad. <laughs> um, I mean, we're going to have so much literature though that day. Yeah. 
Um, the reality is you're going to come out of it feeling inspired. You're going to know some new avenues of growing your business that you didn't know before. Uh, you're going to make some really great connections throughout the day. Um, you know, a really cool thing is National Veteran Small Business Week is actually November 11th through the 15th. We're jumping the gun a little bit. So we're on November 1st. I like that. But, uh, Governor Polish just approved our proclamation for National Veterans Small Business Week. Um, and so we're going to be celebrating our veteran entrepreneurs. And so, like you mentioned, it, it doesn't end with this event. We're going to be really pouring into small businesses after this, too. Well, we, we certainly appreciate all you do for the community. Be sure you check out the website, pikespeaksbdc.org. You can get your tickets, go to that event. Be sure you say hi to Brandon there. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of people and helping yeah. them out. I'm sure. What are you most excited about? Oh, man, I, I do this work because I love people. So I'm a, I'm a big extrovert. I just love hanging out and just hearing your stories, um, connecting with people um, I'm just somebody that wants to hear that and help uplift you in what you're doing. Um, I oftentimes say that we're the wind beneath your wings. Mm -hmm. uh, I love being that person for folks. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody learning and pouring in. And, um, I told my, uh, AV team, I'm like, I want, I want it to feel like America just vomited on <laughs> the great wolf lodge. I mean, it's going to be loud music rocking and rolling. We got some cool collateral coming this day. I'm just, everything about it just gets me fired up. So what a great way to start out the month of November. What a great way to finish the, the week. It's on a Friday, November 1st. Uh, I'm sure there, there'll be a lot of red, white, and blue. Yeah. I, I know it's the day after Halloween. Um, but if you can't tell, I won't need any candy that day. Like I will just be like rocking and rolling that day without it. So <laughs> you don't need that extra sugar or coffee, no, ca no. coffee or caffeine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, best of luck with that event Friday, November 1st. Be sure you you get to that event. What a great opportunity to either grow and scale or just get started, learn more and then watch what happens. Because what a great way to finish the year and, and maybe build for a very special 2025. Yep, you got it. All right. Appreciate you. And and again, this is what's good in your neighborhood. Thank you all for joining us and get those tickets. SB, PikesPeakSBDC.org. Take care, Brandon. Good luck with all of it. Thank you.